Welcome to the season finale of the Future of Mobility Season 2. I'm Devina Lasson and in this episode, we showcase the stories of top mobility leaders and developments that have shaped the narrative of mobility throughout the eight episodes of this season. From the evolution of charging ecosystem to the growth of mobility as a service, this season has explored how technologies are transforming different categories of mobility in the country. Today, we'll recap the highlights of the season and discuss the future of transportation. Take a look. In this captivating series, we have embarked on a transformative journey alongside industry leaders who are shaping the automotive landscape. We have witnessed the impactful contributions of EVH, Ultraviolet, Mahindra Lost Mile Mobility and VECV as they lead transformation in the electric mobility space. Meanwhile, Continental Technologies focuses on mobility safety, Luby EV in charging solutions and SKF India emphasizes sustainability. As we reach the culmination of Future of Mobility Season 2, it is time to delve into the finale episode where we explore the next frontier. The revelation of new technology in automobiles, the imminent policies that will shape the future and the profound global perspective that paves the way for a transformative era in mobility. So there's a lot happening in the mobility space right now in terms of new technologies. Let me divide it into two parts. So one is as far as the vehicle itself, the technology used in the vehicle itself is concerned, there's a big move towards electric mobility. So moving from the IC engine vehicles to electric vehicles, that's one big change that's happening. New technologies in terms of hydrogen vehicles are uh, being developed. They've not yet got into commercial scale, but they are getting developed. In terms of uh, more than vehicles, there are technologies like the Hyperloop, which are you know long distance movements, very rapid movements. These are coming up. There are things like drones that will be used for transportation. Those are coming up. So a lot of new developments happening as far as transportation technologies are concerned. The consumer will define technology, right? It is the need of the consumer that will define technology. So the way I look at it, this consumer will also probably want to shift in the way they consume mobility. They may not want to buy all mobility. They may want to consume the mobility, but they may not want to buy it. So they may want to actually subscribe to mobility. So a lot of the companies are actually moving from just being a product-based company to being a services-based company. And in that frame, you know, that's where a lot of good technology is coming out. I mean, you know, earlier it used to be just ride hailing. Now there is ride hailing, there is cab hailing, there is short term, there is fleet. Uh, so there is a plethora of different technologies in that field, which is uh, giving out its play. In the quest for a sustainable future, the narrative of embracing sustainability in mobility emerges as a significant focal point. Within the context of India, there arises a compelling need to investigate the most effective strategies to attain greener transportation. In this endeavor, the government, businesses and individuals assume pivotal roles there are four different things that we need to think about in making mobility sustainable. One is look at efficiency, improving energy efficiency, how much energy is used per kilometer of travel, that will be one. The second is moving towards cleaner fuels, so electric vehicles or LNG, these are cleaner fuels that will come up, hydrogen is another one which will be a cleaner fuel. The third I think is a big shift towards cleaner modes of travel. So air and road are highly polluting, they are not sustainable. Whereas rail and water-based systems are more sustainable. So how can we bring about a bigger shift away from road, away from air towards rail and water-based systems? I think that is, and finally the fourth is, there's a lot of spare capacity. See, every car that is moving with an empty seat is a wasted resource. 
how do we make sure that the existing capacity is used more optimally? That is where I think these are the four approaches I would say are necessary for sustainability. In India, a large and growing population presents a vast market opportunity for mobility products and services. With a tech-savvy youth population, India becomes an ideal ground for innovative mobility solutions. India's commitment to innovation propels it towards global mobility leadership. India is emerging out to be uh, you know, the third largest passenger car market, we're the biggest two-wheeler market, we're the biggest tractor market. So we're a very, very significant player in mobility globally now. I mean, if you look at the Indian ecosystem right now, you know, you have your major OEMs which manufacture cars, you have your suppliers, you have your dealers, but there's a very key startup component also that is starting to participate in this market. And that startup component is what is taking over the, uh, the peripherals of the ecosystem that are starting to develop. So it's a key uh, market uh, from a global perspective. Lots of eyes on India, uh, lots of money flowing into India from overseas uh, on, uh, you know, for such startups. And uh, good, uh, we're in a good position to that extent. In the pursuit of the future of mobility, the significance of constructing a proper infrastructure and ecosystem becomes paramount. A robust transportation network, including roads and charging stations, coupled with a well-connected ecosystem, lays the foundation for a seamless transition that builds an essence of establishing these vital pillars as we embark on the journey towards the future of mobility. The amount of uh, infrastructure, both digital and physical, that is being built in India is quite substantial right now. I mean, just think about it, you know, uh, we possibly are building out infrastructure. Uh, obviously, physically, everybody knows how, man, how much road is being built out in India. The amount of kilometers of road developed per day in India right now is significant. We've probably never had that in our history before. So that will be a very, very key aid to, uh, you know, get on ground mobility going. You need integration between different modes, even at a policy level. So if that happens, so some changes are happening. For example, the government has announced this Gati Shakti program. So the purpose of the Gati Shakti program is can we have different projects getting integrated in terms of their implementation. The other thing that the government has done is come up with a comprehensive logistics action plan. What the comprehensive logistics action plan would do is, particularly for freight, long distance freight, it will tell you which truck is coming back empty. Can we use that? So it's better utilization of empty capacity. In conclusion, the future of mobility in India holds immense promise. With the increasing popularity of electric vehicles, the convenience and affordability of shared mobility services, and the potential revolution brought by autonomous vehicles, India stands poised for transformative change. As the country embraces sustainable and innovative transportation solutions, it paves the way for a greener, more connected and technologically advanced mobility ecosystem. As we develop, you see what is happening is with economic growth, there'll be more transport demand. With more urbanization, which is also happening rapidly, there'll be more transport demand. We can't stall any of them, but so that holds the country back. We have to allow the transport demand to grow, but sustainability will push us into doing that more sustainably. The journey towards a brighter and more efficient future of mobility has only just begun, and India's position as a leader in this realm continues to grow. Alright, as we bring the curtains down on Season 2 of The Future of Mobility, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to all our sponsors. We'd also like to thank our guests for their valuable contribution and our audience for their continued support. Do stay tuned for more exciting updates and innovations in the next season of The Future of Mobility.